<laughs> um, uh, just, just reminds me of that one video of like, uh, who do you mean? Like, oh, I mean Yoshi. I hate you. Uh, what about <laughs> what about Ness? Everybody hates you. <laughs> Um, but yes, Loom Raid, of course, have been performing very well. Uh, is, in fact, a Ness player. Um, he has another character, too, doesn't he? I don't think so. I I've, only seen the, I've only seen the Ness. He may just bring out like the other character in Fenris. Right. But I'm pretty sure he has like uh, a Falcon and something else. Um, but Loom Raid versus Razo. I'm expecting Razo to really play the uh, in his base role. You know, of course, doing all the, the blow cancels, but... Ness, a character that also has very good aerials. Ooh, try catching the tech roll with the K Fire, but you know what? You get a tech roll in and kind of avoid all that. And yet again, you get hit one for Keith and you eat 40% in of them. Oh, I like the spell with the side magnet, even converting into the up air. Whoa, the Peach Farmer, that's right. That thing goes so far. And it stalls right above the PK Fire as well, so it could be a great tool for Razo to use to approach. Oh, I love that, using the sign magnet to kind of approach and be like, yeah, this thing has a hitbox that's deceptively large. So Deceptively large. Yeah, because like people don't expect to get hit by it. Oh, yeah, you got to watch those PK Thunders. You know, it sometimes looks like you're just going to strike a landing. Sometimes you're just trying to go for the sweet spot playmaker. Yeah. Here we go. Now he's off stage, catches the turn of good job, but he gets hit by the... The scores, and you know what? I love that using the nair to avoid the turn up there. Try going for the dare to just steal the stock super early, but you know what? Not gonna be able to beat in time. But gets that attack for his trouble, and only six percent on Razo. Razo really should have known that that dare was gonna be a very risky move because Umbre didn't have a second jump. He was either forced to recover low with the PK Thunder or use a directional air dodge. A bit of a 50 50, but regardless, Razo able to pick up that stock. Okay, another parry. Now. Look at all these aerials that are coming out from Lumbre. He's so comfortable in the sky. He's looking like Falco. Right. Honestly, I love his movement. I love how confident he is to be able to control his character. It looked like that. Like He knew that, like, okay, you're probably going to cheat here. I'm going to throw out a PK fire right in his face, or right where you can want to be. Mm -hmm. And then he was able to capitalize on that. Yeah, I want to see what type of adjustments Ross is going to be able to make through this best of five. Because as you can see, you know, he's continuing to recover low. He's forcing Lumbre to throw out the PK Thunder. And then he's either stalling or he's trying to weave around it, really. Here we go. Lumbre air dodge back on the stage. Gets enough smash, but not going to be enough to take out the stock. And here we go. Peach at leg. You know, Lumbre just kind of been hanging out there in the mid zone, just waiting for Peach to approach and do something. Oh, very smart. He used the Parasol to beat out the PK Thunder. But that may have been just a little bit of bait that Razo took. I love that using the air dodge to kind of like not contest the ledge, but you know what? Razo is able to pick up a slight turn out of it. Mm -hmm. Now we see the turn out, but Moonbury not, not opting to go for the ledge just yet. Again, try going for an air out of shield, but not going to be able to get in time. Catches the turn up on top of that. You know, I, I love what Moonbury is doing to the turn. So most people see the turn up and be like, okay, I'm going to air dodge past it. Most people never think about catching it, you know? And so that shows that Moonbray has so much confidence in the matchup because he's so confident that I'm not going to get hit by this. I'm going to catch it and use it against you instead. Well, Razo still has a couple tricks up his sleeve. I don't know if you saw that frame trap, but Moonbray had nowhere to go and Razo was able to pick up the stock. But 93%, Razo having a lot of trouble just keeping his feet planted on the ground. There we go. Quick damage for Razo, catching the turn up and answering with the back air. Oh no, he air dodges and doesn't grab the leg, but he doesn't have a double jump. But, oh my god, I love what Razo was trying to do there, because if that turn had connected, then it would have killed, and I believe that was up smash. That was up smash. That was up smash, okay. It, was, it looked like for a second, it might have been like something else, like up tilt. Yeah, that yo-yo is made of steel, or titanium, or something. It hits really hard. And in this game, it's just like, hi, I'm going to just have this active projectile, or active hitbox, like, right below me, and if you try to punish it, then you're just going to eat, like, an extra, like, like 10 to, like, 11%, you know? Like, yeah, we haven't really seen that come into play in this set, because like Razo's, you know, primarily an air here. Yeah. Yeah. Or, like, the, the, the parasol will kind of, like, clank with the the yo-yo on off a ledge, so... Yeah, and Peach is so floaty, I don't think it would take, like, extra damage, or really. you might get one or two hits. Okay, so game two on Smashville. 
Ooh, converting the back air into a grab, trying to read the tech option off the platform, but no one's going to be able to shield and trying to avoid it. Like that, you know, using the back air out of shield to punish uh, Moonbreeze approach option. Okay, down throw into... Ooh, tried to go for the Nair, but a good tech from Moonbreeze is going to keep him away from Razo. I like that, just running up, checking out what Roz was gonna do. Be like, okay, you didn't press the button, fine, I'm gonna grab you. And knowing how Ooh. strong his grab range is, but I love that, you know, uh, using the double PK Thunder and be like, okay, you think you avoided the first one, but here comes the second one right here, right now. And dude, Roz was wise to it. You saw him as soon as that second PK Thunder came out, he just stood on the platform, took out a turn up, waited for that PK Thunder to really extend itself. Ooh, just barely dying right there. And you know, Lumbre really not in a bad position at this point, but he needs to find the stock soon because when Peach gets in, she gets in hard with a clean 50% right there. Okay. Using the PK Thunder as a projectile and more of a wall so that uh, Razor has to respect him is not able to put snipe. <laughs> Did you see that snipe? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> Moonbray in a very dire situation now. At this point, you know what? You know, Ro I was about to say, Rosso has not been touched for like a hot minute, but then he just gets nared really quick. Here's the grab in the fourth throw. He's off stage. Here comes the PK Thunder. This nice Rosso right there. And then, you know what? Ooh. Not going to be able to catch him. Yeah, good stall with the Peach Bomber. You know, puts more distance between Moonbray and just. Outspace the up air, but another Nair. We see so many stocks from Nair on both sides. I mean, it's a really strong hitbox. And it kind of lasts a little bit long, too, so it's a really good move for both players. I mean, after that, after getting sniped out by Raza, I don't know if Moonbrae should really be recovering as low uh, as, he, as, he, as often as he has been. I'd be afraid to get sniped again. I mean, I feel like at a certain point, you can't really help, help it, you know? You're right, but... But Ness has such an amazing like directional air dodge that I feel like he should just be trying to abuse that more. More than we've seen. Right, anyways. okay, I, I can agree with that. Like he can mix up the low recovery or even saving the second jump, using the second jump, and then directional air dodge and throw ledge. Right. Because that'll make it a little bit harder for Razo to really tell when he needs to throw the turn up. Here we go to game three. Two, one, now I love Moonbrae pretty much always goes to this stage just whenever possible on the counter pick, so get it again. <laughs> so if you want to avoid this stage, you have to ban yeah. Battlefield and FD? Yeah. Well, mainly just FD, because I don't think he likes Battlefield versions of this, but like, definitely the FD version of this stage. Is awesome. This is that city when we are on the roof, right? Yep. This is Foresight. Four, Foresight? Foresight. Oh, man. Ooh! Ooh, we God. saw all four sides of that crown. Yeah. Robert was just like, ah, uh, we're in the city, we're in the Big Apple, but you're going to eat this fist right here. Like, oh my God. I mean, so have, you, have you sprayed Mario Odyssey? He is a city girl, too. Oh my God. Yeah. Pulling out right the, the Pauline here. combo right there, dude. Oh. Oh, screw <laughs> that. Uh, <laughs> screw that spirit. That spirit was stupid hard. <laughs> oh my God. Down tilt forward air, classic combos coming out from Razo. Easy bread and butter. All right, now he's off stage. I love that using the turnip, but just air dodge the stage. And I'm so surprised that he went for jab instead of the back air. But, oh, oh gets stage by I don't think he's not going to be able to make that back. He yeah. had no second jump. Float pretty much expended. Parasol doesn't have that much vertical recovery. I like the mix up there going for the PK fire, but no, because Peach is so floaty, it's just going to whiff because she's getting land on the ground quick enough. Okay, there we go. You know, Lumbre starting to directional air dodge more to the ledge. Right. It's almost like he hurt me. Mm. Uh, there's the other air dodge. Oh, but he has a double jump and you know, like, using the PK Thunder, but it's not going to be enough because he goes too high trying to hit Raza when he was going for that down smash. Yeah, that's definitely the mix up. Like, do you go for your opponent or do you go for ledge? If you go for ledge, you know, you have that option of doing two things. Or do you pick the offensive option and hope that they drop shield or pick an offensive option themselves? Right. Oh, you know, I feel like Moonbrae. Yeah. Oh, no, Get that bombed. was a mistake. Yep. Yeah. You know what? Moonbrae felt super pressured to tire to take that stock. He went for a super risky down air. And Arazo is just like, 
going, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to thank you right here because you overextended. Mm -hmm. You overextended and you shall suffer and die for that. Zoomray de if definitely overextended, but at the same time, I respect what he was going for. When you're down 3-1, you feel like you need to make a play. And make a play he tried. And with the best of five, you know, you can afford to, to make that, right. that call. Quick grab and try going for the forward air, but you know what? Yet again, Peach super floaty, so it's just going to be able to avoid that. Okay, if the dash back into the grab. And then all these bears, but Peach finally gets her way in. Gets a quick down throw to better. Oh, but he calls out the double jump with the Peach Palm there, and now he's off stage, no double jump, but yet again, can't really punish it. You know, that's such a good way to cover your landing, Ooh. is with the PK Thunder. And, oh my god, if he had actually pulled out that counter and managed to get the PK Flash off of it. I mean, that would have been a hard call out, but at the same time, that the PK Flash has so much wind up, and so much build up time that you could easily avoid it. Like you saw Raza use the toad counter, and then he had enough time to just walk away. <laughs> Man, I don't know about going this deep. Raza is playing a character that can literally stall in the air. I like what he's trying to do. He's just trying to attack where Raza wants to be. But you know what? When you overextend, once again, you just get blown up. And you know what? Blown up, he shot because he ate a whole lot of percent of that. Mm -hmm. The New Raven had a really good start here in this set, but I feel like the adjustments have been made by Raza, and they definitely are. Uh, they may not have been made by Lumbre. Okay, there's the back door. going to even up the stocks, but after 84%, you know Raza. One conversion away. Oh, he's going off stage. He's looking to cover that ledge. Goes for the Baron. I love that drift back to avoid the punish from Raza. But, oh! but he manages to absorb it and gets percent off of it. But you know what? Direct air air dog. I'm surprised he didn't try to up Because, like, he was decently high up enough. You know? I'm surprised he reacted with the side magnet. Yeah. <laughs> Doombray reaction times. Where did all this percent come from? He just came off the angel platform. Again, that sucks. You can't absorb Toad. Yeah. And here comes the bear and you know, Zumbre. Honestly, like it, it just went from bad to worse in a matter of seconds. And you see, she's going super low, knowing that she can just. Take him out with a side B because he had no more resources and he was just like, thank you, goodbye.